Hello and welcome back to me playing a game I haven't played since I was about six. Um, I've decided I'm going to do these as ten minute episodes. Ten minutes, or I should say thirteen minutes, uh, if we're going by the last one. Thirteen minutes of video is four gigabytes. So, I'm going to have to make sure I don't uh, overfill my SSD. I have a hard drive as well, but that's pretty full as well. So, I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to be able to make. Oh boy! before <laughs> before I have to start putting them out and deleting them. Uh, oh lordy. Also I don't know what kind of schedule if any is going to be for these. This is literally just I've decided to do this. So not put much planning into it. Oh! Okay I think I remember this level as well. Slightly. Kind of. Although we're clearly in some kind of subway system which is not something I recognised as a kid. To me this was all just <laughs> tunnels. Okay. Incoming. Oh! Incoming. Yep, thanks for that. Oh, okay, behind me, I'm guessing. Incoming. Stop it. Stressing me out. Stressing me out. Oh! No! Shield's low. Man, this Incoming. game is hard. It's probably not. Like I said, I've just. I'm not familiar with the genre. Can I blow these up? No. Alright. Let's keep going. Keep going. Just curious. Alright, so the number on the left of a reticle is how many missiles I've got. Still not sure what that bar is, though. So. Where's this going? Secret area? Oh! Okay. He spooked me. So you can fly around in water, it's just a lot slower. I think it's, if it, okay, so in the past episode I was talking about... Um, oh, destroying enemies can open doors, that's cool. Uh, in the past episode I was talking about... Um, how I wasn't sure if this was like a famous Six Degrees of Freedom shooter or if this was just like more of a niche one. Oops. Um, but I wonder if I have a I limit on lives. Collect ten. Oh, three lives left. Collect ten gold bars for an extra try. Okay. Uh, anyway. Oh, wrong way. Um, yeah, I was talking about how I didn't know if this was a defining Six Degrees of Freedom shooter or if this is like a niche one. Uh, but if they remastered it, I'm guessing it was probably liked by a decent amount of people. Oh, all of my instincts are just wrong though. I'm not used to being this floaty. Okay, here we go. What's down this way? Restart position activated. Good. Oh, hello! Uh, I saw there was a Six Degrees of Freedom shooter called... Oh, I forgot the name of it, shit. Um, but it looked quite colourful, and I think it might have been a roguelike. Uh, it's on Steam, I think it's quite popular. I was considering picking that up at some point. I don't have the power to open this door. Oh, what did I just do? That was supposed to be my... Okay, so my missiles have turned into mine, so I must have picked that up. Oh, that spooked me! <laughs> of Trojax. Gimme. Cool. I have 11 gold bars. Ah, oh, I just keep getting hit with these like waves of, oh fuck I remember this kind of thing. Yeah I saw that. Oh! Okay. Oh you're not dead yet? I thought you turned bars of gold but you didn't. My gun is now back. Oh, that's, that must be what a Trojax is. Okay. Whew. I'm loving the soundtrack now. <laughs> it's 
very 90s. <laughs> very 90s PS1 game kind of thing. I might be making that definition up. So, there's stuff behind here, but I don't know how to... I triggered a chain... Oh, clever. What is that? Crystals can... Oh, crystal. Okay. Oh, hello! But yeah, so this is... I figured this would be a good one to start with as far as six degrees of freedom shooters go. Six offs, I guess, is probably the way to abbreviate that. Um, wait, what did I miss back here? Oh, nothing. Um, I'm just going to call them six doffs. I'm sorry if that's weird. Oh my god, my gun is so bad. Why did I pick this gun up? Um, but yeah, games eight and since this is the only six off shooter I've ever played, um, I don't really have to worry about like being like, oh, it's so hard to get back into get back into this because I've played newer ones and, and like I miss all these quality of life changes and that kind of thing. Okay, cool. I've got my regular guns back. I'm not paying attention to the pickups. You might have noticed. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting I don't have missiles. Wait, can I change guns? Because I'm pretty sure I just ran out of ammo for that. Oh. Oh, there's a map. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that map. I never figured that out as a kid. I'm just pressing all the buttons now. Uh... Alright, that's flashlights. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's what that was. <sighs> Sorry, I keep losing track of what I'm saying because I keep having to pause and try and concentrate. Yeah, so... It would be hard to go back and play... Okay, a good example is Ratchet and Clank 1, the first Ratchet and Clank game, because we were talking about it earlier. Um, okay, that's the only weapon I have. Figured that out now. So Ratchet and Clank 1 doesn't have the ability to strafe, uh, but all future Ratchet and Clank games do, and that's a big, big, comp big component of how you play the game. You strafe as you run behind cover and you shoot enemies. But in the first game you can't do that, you just kind of have to like aim the camera at them. And that was fine if you're playing Ratchet and Clank 1 for the first time. Uh, but if you go if you play a newer game and then you go back to the older one, it's luckily nowadays we've got Ratchet and Clank PS4, which is a fantastic remake. Uh, but that has strafing. So if you go back and play the original, um, it's difficult because it's like, man, I'm used to this way of playing the game and I don't find this as enjoyable anymore because I'm used to playing it better. But yeah, that's a whole thing. So I'm worried if I play newer 6 off shooters, I won't be able to go back and play this one, because I'll be like, ah, oh, I'm used to being able, being able to do this. Okay, so that loops around. I just realised this level doesn't have a time limit like the other one did. That makes things a little bit more chill. This door opens elsewhere. Okay. I guess it's because the previous one was going to collapse. I'm not sure if I remember much around this point of the game, to be honest. It's probably more my dad's game than mine. I remember those weird screams in the soundtrack, though. That just happened then. I already have max power. Um, okay, so I'm just going to this way. Let's open that handy map we found. So that door... I think that might just be a secret room. I guess we'll just go back the way we came for now. Man, I get lost in Doom, like the original 1996 version. Ah! I did not know that was going to beep so loudly. That's telling me it's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. We'll finish this level in the next one.